Hello there, fellow tech marines, and welcome back to some 40k lore. First and foremost, yes, your eyes and ears are not deceiving you. This is in fact a new entry in our Space Marine Armory series and playlist. It's been a very long time since I updated this, but I'm glad I finally found something I didn't cover already to bring to your attention. Even if the topic is not exactly new. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Cestus Assault Ram. Now, before we get into it though, a small disclaimer about the pronunciation of the thing. I actually looked it up, and it seems there's at least two variants of pronouncing the name. First is the Cestus, which admittedly it was how I pronounced it all along, and then there's the Caestus, which given the Imperium's hard-on for Latin, should probably actually be the correct pronunciation. However, with more than 60% of my audience being from the United States, I'm gonna stick with the Cestus. That out of the way, let us proceed, shall we? The Cestus is one of several types of assault rams used by the Imperium of Man. Assault rams, in general, are used for boarding actions during void battles, and are capable of quickly placing boarding parties directly aboard enemy vessels. The Cestus is the most common assault ram used by the Astartes, due to the craft's high speed and phenomenal durability, making it a highly prized asset for many Space Marine chapters. The Cestus is smaller than a Thunderhawk gunship, but it is bigger than the lesser known Shark assault boat, allowing more marines to be safely deployed into an enemy ship. The craft can safely transport up to 10 fully armored Space Marines, wearing either power armor, artificer armor, or terminator armor even. It is fortunately a common sight aboard the ships of many fleet-based chapters, who spend a lot of their time in space combat either fighting against enemy ships, boarding space hulks, or attacking enemy space stations or asteroid bases. This honored war machine has been in service as a ship-to-ship -ship boarding vessel ever since the Great Crusade, one of the many different patterns used by the fleets of the Adeptus Astartes and the Imperial Navy. As a result of the discoveries made by the acclaimed machine arcanist Arkan Land in the vaults lost beneath the Martian waste, the Cestus was then fitted with an array of anti-gravitic projection nodes, which allowed it to operate within the gravitational field of a planet or similar sized body. The adaptation turned the venerable design of the Cestus from a pure spacecraft limited to operating in the cold depths of the void, to one capable of operating as a battle skimmer in support of a ground operation when required. This in turn allowed the Cestus to assault the most formidable fortifications on a planet's surface making it a vital weapon in the arsenal of many legions. More recently, in the 41st and 42nd millennia, the Cestus continued to be a valuable asset in many fleet-based chapters. Construction-wise, the Cestus, like any other assault rams used in ship-to-ship -ship boarding actions, was designed for one job and one job alone. To cross the void of space between two void ships at extreme speed and collide directly with the enemy vessel. The ram would entirely puncture through the enemy vessel hull and burrow into the superstructure, where it would unleash its payload of Astartes to wreak havoc inside the enemy ship. These missions, goes without saying, are very dangerous, as just a single hit from an enemy capital ship can simply destroy most smaller vessels, an outcome that would prove grievous for Astartes, as they would then be unable to retrieve the precious gene seed of the Fallen. The Cestus is one of the most well-armored rams in the Imperium, but this doesn't sacrifice its speed. The front of the craft, which will bear the most of enemy fire, is heavily armored, and protected by a heavy superstructure which is buttressed by inertial recoil compensation systems. The systems include a very unique Misericordia system that is designed to interlock with Space Marine power armor or Terminator armor protecting the squad aboard from any impact, short of those that would destroy the vessel itself. The systems, combined with the craft's high speed and extremely durable armor, allows the Cestus to deliver a full squad of space marines right into the bowels of an enemy starship, without casualty. Just don't expect it to deliver guardsmen, as they'd be turned into mush long before the thing actually burrows into the enemy ship. Weapon-wise, the Cestus is equipped with a forward-firing heavy Melta weapon known as the Magna Melta. 
This weapon is used to weaken the hull armor of the enemy ships or fortifications before the craft's armored prow crashes right into the weakened area, creating a breach through which the complement of space marines can immediately deploy and advance. When the Cestus is used as a heavy skimmer during ground combat, the weapon is very effective at close range against enemy tanks and bunkers. Many space marines also equip the Cestus with twin-linked Fire Fury missile launchers, one launcher on each of the stabilizer wings. The weapons fire all their missiles at once, completely saturating the area with a massive amount of firepower, which allows the assault ram to touch down and deploy its cargo of Astartes before the enemy can retaliate. It can also be upgraded with several enhancements, including frag assault launchers and a teleport homer. When a ram is upgraded with a teleport homer, the craft can allow additional forces to be teleported to the location, which can greatly increase the speed of taking over or destroying an enemy vessel, or teleporting terminators right into a breach during a conflict. During the Great Crusade and Horus Heresy eras of the 30th and 31st millennia, the Cestuses could also be outfitted with an auxiliary drive system, and equipped with wing-mounted twin-linked Havoc missile launchers instead of the Fire Fury missile launchers from the newer vessels. First recorded in the Libris Apollon as being first used in the latter years of the Great Crusade, the so-called Dragonfire attack pattern of the Cestus rams relied on the combined might of three of them armed with Magda Melta weapons and the skill of the crews to fly these vessels into a tight formation while firing their weapons with precise timing. This allowed them to create huge breaches in enemy ships and fortifications. Few obstacles could stand in the way of three of these working together. A couple of individually famous Cestus assault rams include The Amara Fang was an assault ram of the Salamanders chapter that fought at the Battle of Chaprey. The Burning Angel was a Cestus Ram of the Exorcist chapter, which is attached to the Battle Barge Redeemer. The Gore Dagger was an Assault Ram of the Space Wolves, which was unfortunately destroyed at the Battle of Carina Nebula during the defense of the Imperial world of Betalis III from the forces of the Eldar from the craft world Mimira. The Sapphire Claw was an Assault Ram of the Astral Claws chapter before they turned traitor. The Secutor Crimson has been in the service of the Red Hunter Space Marine chapter for at least two millennia. The Secutor Crimson appears to have served in many Inquisition-led operations because its hull is etched with countless battle honors. However, key honors had been deliberately removed, while others are completely unknown to the Red Hunter's chapter archives. What glories go unrecorded having been expunged from the minds of the chapter's brothers as well as redacted from such rolls of honor as adorn the armored flanks of the Crimson, must remain unknown forever, for the sake of the Imperium and those who shelter within it. Finally, the Spectre of Death was an assault ram of the Star Phantoms chapter, which was unfortunately destroyed during the battle for the Palace of Thorns at the fall of Badab Primaris. And last but not least for today, some technical specifications for this thing. It has 11 known patterns, a transport capacity of 10 space marines, it weighs 85 tons, a length of 16.8 meters, or for my American brothers out there, 55.1 feet, a wingspan of 12.5 meters or 41 feet, a height of 6.5 meters or 21.3 feet, its main ammunition, when equipped with missiles, is 24 missiles, and armor-wise, it has 60 mm on the superstructure and 60 mm on the hull. And this, my friends, has been what I wanted to tell you about the Cestus, or Kaistus if you prefer, assault ram for today. I was actually surprised to find out I didn't actually make a video on this before, especially since these things are referred to many times in the Horus Heresy books. I thought I covered everything in the Space Marines Vehicles Department, but it turns out I didn't. A pleasant surprise nevertheless. As always, I look forward to reading your thoughts on this thing in the comments below. Is there anything important about it I missed? Is it among your favorite Space Marine pieces of tech? Do let us know. If you found this informative or entertaining, do leave a like, share, subscribe, and click the bell icon for future content. Thanks a lot, and the Emperor protects.